Let's watch a clip from this movie and then come back and talk about it at the end. Mr. Clayton, congratulations. <laughs> Your wife has just been delivered of a bouncing baby girl. Yes. Hey, no. Anna, wake up. Anna, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey. <laughs> no. No, now, no. I hope you're not going to And I hope you're not going to Show you, they, 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 they call you, they sleep. Okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. Anna, you get belly. You get belly. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh-uh. Which kind of question be that? Which kind of talk be waiting? We, 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 yeah, who they talk? Which, which kind of talk be waiting? And they tell you why they do me now. They talk, say, so which kind of talk are they talk? So, Anna, you get better because you dream what I dream now. So, is that very real? Oh? You born baby girl? Yes. Okay, yes? So now because of dream, you wake up this morning, they shout. No, I'm not going to wake you up. I get six children, they tell me that because of dream, I, I, I wake you up. I said congratulations. So why do they congratulate me? I don't be malaria I get. Now malaria and typhoid I get. Give me medicine, make a drink. Have no, I, what I'm saying is no, you don't have malaria or I typhoid. Have, I have malaria. No, you don't have malaria. Doctor, I say I get malaria and typhoid. Now your malaria. Madam, you don't have malaria. I have malaria. I think it's in my mouth the vitamin now. Now malaria. But uh, what I'll need you to do is register with the nurse for your antenatal. You understand? So that we'll know how to proceed. Ah. Come on, Ibele. What? Come on. No, please. This this is not an abortion clinic. Oh. Well, now, hospital will be this now. No, before hospital, they do abortion. Ah, yeah. doctor, come on, come. Hey, 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 Doctor, if you don't come out of the building, my husband will kill me. My own don't finish. As I did, so my life don't end. Which kind of life is this? <laughs> Your husband threatened you? Doctor, let me threaten myself. As I did, so let me put myself for this mess. Ah! Hey! Doctor. After this one, then we'll start talking about family planning. Doctor, please. I beg, just come out now. Most of my bag. While the Western world is busy finding techniques that will ensure that they only have one or two kids, the population of Africa keeps growing exponentially because the parents of yesteryears really were not putting family planning into consideration. As such, you see families with seven, eight, nine kids in some cultures. They actually celebrate women that have up to 12 kids and that just goes to show you that you know the whole mindset of the more the merrier seems to be a thing at least for the parents of the yesteryears in africa as you can see in the movie the husband is broke they already have six kids and here he goes blaming his wife because he had a dream that she was pregnant again as if she is the only party to getting pregnant you see contraceptives is not really a thing in africa as it is in the western world and maybe it should be you see the fear of the side effects effects probably has made African families to rely on withdrawal as the approach to family planning. Now, as much as this is natural and safe and of course without side effects, this tends to happen more when the girls are still single. Now, when you meet married people, you hear that one of their major prayers is so that they are not pregnant again. Which means they are leaving this thing to God to decide the fate of their next pregnancy. So in my own opinion, I think the government should do more. They should do more, maybe set up more infrastructure that will teach ladies, to teach women, especially the married ones, the best approaches to family planning. Because let the truth be told, when a family has 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 children, the quality of the children that will come out, that will grow up, is not the same as when a family has two or three children, maybe four. But the bottom line here is that when there's excessive kids, it becomes more of a burden. And if you look deep into those families, you will see that maybe half of them did not go to school because the parents, of course, didn't have the resources to handle it. So many of them wouldn't go to school. Many of them would just, you know, from childhood, get into one trade or another. That's why you see many of them on the streets hawking because the system doesn't provide enough 
for parents that end up with 11, 12 kids to be able to handle the expenses of raising children. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Even if you don't like it, I beg, subscribe too. See, I always believe that life is like a movie. And that's why we use movies to discuss life. My name is CJ and I'm here to deliver sense one Nollywood movie at a time. Thank you for watching and see you on the next clip.